Hello guys, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. I don't know what episode it is. I don't know anything anymore, but we start on this beautiful thing. Industry news. And, well, um... <sighs> laughs. Today, Grapple, also known as Apple, a new hardware manufacturer has announced a brand new computer called the Grappintosh. <laughs> Grappintosh. The Grappintosh comes with a new advanced operating system called Grapp OS. <sighs> Even though the new platform is a bit expensive, you get value for your money. Grapple said that the uh, that the Grappintosh, <laughs> too many graps, will become available in the coming months. That is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. Oh, and another guy. Today, Atara announced their first platform. They call it Atara 5200 or 5200. Is Atara like Atari? Maybe? I don't know. Grapple is pretty obvious. It's Apple. Kind of like Grappintosh and Grapp OS. That's terrible. The console uses an analog joystick and has to compete with a popular TES from Nuventa. The Tara 5200 will be, will be released in early next year. Okay. Ooh. Gamer Pride magazine would like you to give an interview as a part of new stars in the gaming in the game industry action to promote the game industry and upcoming game developers. Ooh. There, uh, this is a big part of their project to promote gaming and help developers do uh, uh, to get better attention. Do you accept this offer? If yes, decide what topic you would like to discuss. Um, sure. Let's discuss current game industry. Yeah. You tell the magazine that nowadays game industry is relatively small and it is a great opportunity for people like you to find their place and grow. Yep. The interviewer asked if you can predict the future of the uh, of game industry. You answered that a dynamic product progress in electronic industry will probably catalyze the production of, in of new platforms and that will give a great chance for game industry to progress in many ways. Ugh, English. New research av available, collectibles and bosses. Hockey the Beginning is, uh, is now off the market. It sold 83,230 units, generating $582,645 in sales. Ooh, game convention. Hmm. Well, we got money. Let's go 500k, medium booth. Um, well, we should probably go and develop a new game. Let's go pick game engine, game engine number three, pick platform. Oh, PC is up. Let's go PC. Um. Adventure. Ooh, now they're all spread out because I got extra topics. That's interesting. Hmm. What about airplane? Airplane Tycoon Six. Because you know, we're sticking with what works. 3D graphics V1, yes, please. And then 
let's show hide that. Engine, way up, gameplay up. Uh, story quests, up a bit. Let's go. We're like stacked on research right now. They were all just drinking coffee and all that. Alrighty. Ooh! Game convention, G3, Airplane Tycoon 6. 7,000, 11,000, 30,000, 60,000. 68,931 people visited our thing. Hockey the Beginnings was the thing at the bottom, and then Airplane Tacking 6 coming soon. Cool. We had 68,931 people visiting our booth this year. We didn't make it in the top 100, 100 booths this year. Once we gain more fans, I'm sure we will. Look at the hype. 26. Sound super important, world design, not so much. Let's go. Should we slap in open world? No. Today, Vonnie has announced her own console called the Play System. Apparently, the company has completely reworked their earlier Play System. Prototype after an invento canceled the project. This looks more like a PlayStation now. Okay. The new Play System comes with a CD ROM drive and 30 bit processors and is wholly owned by Vonnie. Industry professionals say that this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles. The invento declined to comment. The Play System will enter the market in two months. New research available. Sequels. Um, just a second. Actually, we don't need anything. Like, we have Hype 42 right now. We didn't break any records, which is sad. Very sad. Sad face. Nope, we didn't level up anybody. Okay. Let's release the game. Come on, reviews. The first reviews came in. Ooh, looks good. I saw a 10 in there somewhere. 7, good game. Oh, 6. I like it. Oh, 5. Find out stages. Oh, 5. How's it better? Oh. Today, the new game platform play system by Vonnie has been released. What? Boss, well, someone seems to have stolen our credit card information and used it to buy a lot of things in the past three months. Unfortunately, we have lost $47,083. 58 cents. Just taking a drink. Sad face. Oh well, what are we gonna do? Um. Wait. We have so many things that we can go and... Everybody is generating game reports. And game report for you two. Hockey the beginnings. Get re game reports here, boys. Our post re uh, release analysis of the Pirate Adventures is complete, and we got the following. In Pirate and Adventure is a great combination. Um, world design seems to be very important for this type of game. 
Platform, general match, Super TES, and Adventure is good. Okay. Our post-release analysis of Hockey The Beginnings is complete, and we got the following results. Sport and sim sports and simulation is a great combination. Level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. Platform, general match, Super TES, and simulation, great. We have some addition. We have some additional insights. James Estrada is still new to the team. A few more games and the team will have a higher potential. Yeah. Our post-release analysis of Airplane Tycoon 5 is complete and we got the following results. Artificial intelligence seems to be very important for this type of game. Level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. Okay. I do have the mods running, right? I hope I do. Alright. Well, I think we're going to end it here, guys. Um, Airplane Tycoon 6 is now off the market. It sold 51,368 units, generating $359,611 in sales. Um, so, yeah, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like. Subscribe, comment if you like. I will talk to you guys in the next one.